Hey kids, today we're working with a Lincoln 12 volt battery. This is what goes in those Lincoln grease guns. Uh, this battery is quite old. Uh, he's had it for a while and he saw my video, a friend of mine, asked me if I could try to do my magic on this. So we're going to try it and we're going to make a video out of it. In case you're wondering how to try to jump start a Lincoln 12 volt nickel cadmium battery, a.k.a. NICAD. Let me explain what happens. This is a trickle charger. And those trickle chargers will, um, uh, the battery will lay dormant. The NICAD cells, the nickel cadmium, will, will almost make a barrier of its own. It's not a memory. That's a good analogy, but it's not. What we need to do is we need to give a burst of energy to liven up those cells, to make them stand upright, and so they can uh, electricity can pass through them again. It's not completing the circuit, so if you see this, uh, the red flashing says replace the battery, and that's expensive. So we're going to try to defibrillate, if you will, this battery. And my defibrillator is, one, a ground, we're going to have a ground, and two, our positive terminal will be welder that's right we're using an arc welder to jump step start it sure you can use other sources of high energy but this really is the easiest source and uh, I just want to shine this up make sure we get a good connection uh, sometimes these uh, these batteries like uh, I, you got to be real patient because uh, that sometimes won't get a good connection as you it's hard hard to get on to it so and the other thing is um, when you're doing this you don't want to deface any of that metal that's got to go back into that trickle charger and try to charge effectively so we're not going to be any doing any welding of any kind it's going to be a quick zap and zap the other important note is we don't want to explode this battery and if there is uh, an explosion, you could get that nickel cadmium all over you. So you want to be well dressed. You want to have layers of clothing on so you can strip it off. You don't want any of those. I'm sure it's acidic, right? So we don't want any of those uh, health issues to be a concern. So you want to dress accordingly with your PPEs, your personal protective equipment. So I'm using welding gloves. I got a hat on underneath. You use a welding hat or whatever in case any juices come at you and I use a welding mask anytime you use a welder of any kind arc or even even brazen you gotta use tinted glasses these are special welding um, face masks that I'm using with a um, auto tint on it so when it arcs it'll make it go dark so I don't hurt my eyes in any way if you look at any welding with the naked eye you will go blind so let's do this real quick. Let's just make a quick video. I've got my welder on. Fire in the hole, people. Fire in the hole. Like I say, it's temperamental. You got to get the right. You got to get a good, solid connection. You can't bite on it. One, two, three. I did four quick zaps, just because I know he said the battery's old. So now what I want to do is I want to shine. So now we got to. Uh, Clean that battery terminal up very well. Nice and shiny. I'm going to do all of them. Clean them up. Let's see. This takes a few minutes for this style to evaluate. Right now it's evaluating. Uh, so we can pick up our equipment. We, we gave her enough jolts to know that if this doesn't work, then the battery is no good. And you can't save every battery. But we tried our best to bring her back to life. And um, Well, right now we'll just have to wait. We're at the mercy of this, uh, of this process. Um, 
And I know I've had Lincoln battery chargers in the past, and they, they do this process pretty long and daunting. So I will pause and we'll pick up and see what the outcome is in just a second. So, yeah, you know, unfortunately we didn't save the battery. Uh, it's all done diagnosing and we got that red flashing light again. So it says to replace the battery. And that's probably the case, right? So I've tried everything I could. I actually did it a few other times in between and trying to resuscitate to defibrillate that battery and there's no save in it. She's the, the, it's got some bad cells. So it's so you can't save them all. So but that's how it's done for the Lincoln battery. I wish we had a better result, but we do not. So anyhow, if you like my videos, please share them and subscribe. It's fun. It's free and it's easy. Peace out. Appreciate your participation.